Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to control GPIOs from Linux user space. We are going to be using Intermedia Kit 2 with Thunderbolt ES and um, a Linux Minimal operating system. I'm going to be connecting through a serial console to um, Linux Minimal system. I'm going to switch it on. As you can see, it's putting up. It should be very quick. Okay, it's very quick. It shouldn't take more than 10 seconds. Intimedia uses GPIO. 32 through to 36 for the push buttons that you can see in the bottom right here and 37 through to 39 and 50 51 for the LEDs over here so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export the GPIOs so we can control them from Linux user space Exporters already? No, they are not. Um, the only GPIOs that GPS are exported at the moment is R1 and 62. Uh, one, I think, is the power uh, or reset button, and 62, I think, is the reset uh, GPIO for the uh, Wi Fi. Okay, so let's export the GPIOs. Let's do the uh, LED GPIOs first. Very easy. All you need to do is type echo and the GPL number in uh, quotation marks. Send it to export. I'm going to do it with all of them. Yeah, 37. Now all the GPLs connected to the LEDs are um, exported. So. Um, by default, they are, connect, uh, they are configured as inputs. That's why only four LEDs are on and the fifth one is off. Um, the system doesn't actually know whether it should switch it on or off. Um, so they're kind of in an unknown state. So to um, correct that, we're going to have to change the direction of all of them to out, since they are out. To do that, we need to change the value of the direction file. There's not going to be any change on the 51, it's the top LED. But for the fifth, for the GPL 50, the LED should actually switch on now. I'm going to change the direction. And it did. For completeness, we're going to do for the remaining three as well. And they're all down now, so we can try to switch them off. Let's switch number 38, for instance. It should be a second LED from the bottom. And it switched off. And let's try to do, um, let's say, GPO 50. Similarly. Changing the value to 1. And there you go. Now let's move on to the uh, push buttons. Let's try to see uh, what the value of the push button is when it's pressed and uh, when it's released. So, similarly, first what I'm, what I'm going to have to do is export the GPIOs. Start with 32. Six. 
and they're all down now, so we can now see the value. Now the button is uh, released and the value is 1. So what's going to happen if I'm, I'm going to press and hold the button? Pressing and holding the button now, and it's 0. Releasing, and it's 1 again. Pressing and holding, 0. So uh, let's try 36 now. Similarly, it's 1. If I press the button, it's zero. Release. One. Press. Zero. As you can see, it's very easy. It can be done in a matter of minutes. And um, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.